Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be showing you guys a war. But there's actually a reason we're showing you the war today. There's going to be a very, very important perk that you need to be taking in Outpost Rush. It's a perk that you need to be taking in war. It's a perk that you need to be taking anytime you're using the Fire Staff. If you're running Pillar of Fire, this is going to be insanely, insanely important. So we're going to jump you guys through today's video with the Fire Staff. And hopefully you guys learn just a little bit about why this perk is so, so broken in PvP at this point in time. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Let's jump right into it. So right now, guys, we're obviously in the middle of a war. We're on point C. We're trying to take point C. We have about 14 minutes left. We need a very, very big push to make this attack happen. We are using kind of our B team. We're trying to just test out a few players, give them that war experience since it is an attack that we just don't care about too, too much. Obviously, you want to win. But, you know, here you're going to see the fire staff come into play. We're going to throw some fireballs down. We're going to throw some pillar fires. But what you're going to hear or see just in a second is exactly what I'm talking about. Watch the screen. So you can see the pillar of fire. I use it instantly back up i keep watching the bottom right i'm using it and it's instantly popping back up now how is that and why is that and how much damage do you think i'm getting to put out because of that so we're going to cover that specific piece of gear today in today's video like i said you can see how much damage we're doing here just constantly throwing pillar of fires down on the enemy and this is definitely pushing them off you can see that there is a very, very sl really low amount of red enemies now in the actual point. There are still some in the back that I'm trying to get to, but I want to cut over, like I said, and talk a little bit more about what you need to be taking to get this kind of benefit with Pillar of Fire and how you're going to really benefit going this Fire Staff Rapier build. And you can see I'm getting to the back line with this ra uh, Rapier now, and you can see how much damage we did just in this last couple of seconds. Uh, Pillar of Fire unfortunately misses there, but like I said, I want to jump into the actual um, build itself and talk about why this build is so so strong all right guys so now i want to show you guys some of the perks that i was using during that war the specific one being that f pillar of fire obviously insane how fast you can get that back and i have a tier 5 one right so that's going to speed it up insanely insanely really quick depending on how many targets we hit so this reduces this ability's cooldown by 12 percent per enemy hit with pillar of fire the three hits max is going to put us at 36 percent of a cooldown reduction and you could see how fast that played a role in those wars you know it's crazy to see how much damage you can put down with some of these great great perks this one like i said was a very very nice drop that i got out in Merc guard which is shattered mountain uh, area if you guys don't know where Merc guard is i'll show you real quick so if you go to shattered mountain Merc guard is going to be this top zone there's going to be a lot of great loot here obviously a place you need to go to with uh you know probably a group of players unless you're trying to just do a chest run but i do want to show you a couple other great great options when it comes to the perks there are more than just the pillar of fire the refreshing pillar of fire that i will be shooting for coming into this late game so if we go to perks you can see that empowering fireball is what i currently have selected this is going to be another great option if you can get this on your gear so here's one here uh you know they know what they have based on perks so they're trying to sell for 800 gold even though it's just a tier four but this is probably a great great choice for a lot of you you know going this fireball impact deals 25 percent additional damage if you have fireball you're running fire of or sorry pillar of fire i always say fire pillar but pillar of fire empowering fireball both great options to have these perks obviously on your gear you cannot stack these by the way you can't run two empowering fireballs on your gear you can't run two pillar of fire refreshing on your gear you can see that right now you know going something like this fireball impact plus the pillar of fire is going to make your abilities absolutely insane damage wise and i want to talk a little bit more about one more perk so if we actually take this one out and we scroll through there's going to be a lot of great perks that you can look into right so efficient burnout's not a bad one this one really targets your mana regenerate so increased by 10 to 37 percent for eight seconds after using a burnout we have a lot more though so there's empowering meteor shower if you're using meteor shower definitely grab this i would say not worth meteor shower right now is in a very very bad spa space or place right now compared to pillar of fire at the very least if you continue on your way down though you're going to be looking for a fireball um, when we get to that fireball we're going to talk a little bit about it so we're not talking about the burn bleed and poison expiring we're talking about the burn bleed and everything actually gaining a longer duration which is going to stack on with your passive that already increases the burn duration if you're going that you also can go fire damage so deal three to four point eight percent more fire damage not a bad choice either but let me see if i can find this um 
let me see if I can find this increased burning. So here we go. Burning, let's actually select it here and see if we have any. So this is going to be on a jewelry. Uh, burning you apply lasts 5.2% longer. And this is actually pretty good jewelry that I'm looking at right here. This first one actually. Um, definitely going to be very, very strong perk that you can actually use in wars very, very usefully. Uh, like I said, you're going to have this burning perk. You're going to have the pillar of fire perk. You're going to have the uh, fireball impact perk. And with all of that, you're going to do a lot of damage. And you guys saw in the gameplay how we actually quickly wiped out that backline with pillar of fire. And then after I what milked that backline pretty well, and it was just a few stragglers in the back, I went rapier mode and took out, uh, I think, one or two more on the, uh, on the clip at the very least. But if we take a look, I want to take a look at this tier 5 because tier 5 is obviously going to give you the highest percentage when it comes to refreshing pillar of fire which by the way is the perk that we're mainly focused on today this is going to be the one like I said that you saw in those first clips I think you're going to like this one a lot and there's a lot of reasons behind that not only does it give you increased cooldown reduction but you're also going to really continue to put out that AoE on multiple enemies multiple times in a row focused on the big bulk of people so this is a great great weapon and build to go with maybe a great axe team if you have great axe team with uh you know gravity well you group them all up you continue to hit three or four at once and grant this 36 percent really cooldown reduction and obviously you saw in the clip as well that sometimes we were getting instant cooldown reduction because of pillar of fire being able to hit more than once so if you guys didn't know pillar of fire sometimes hits one to four times it procs quite a bit uh really kind of luck based on that unfortunately but you know it is crazy to see the damage and the output i just want to kind of give you guys a brief overview of what you should be looking for perks wise when it comes down to pillar of fire uh you know fireball impact and really just fire damage and burns or sorry not burns really but uh actually it is burns i think i was going to go poison route there but you know it is actually burns when it comes to the fire staff obviously so those are going to be four perks you definitely want to look out for when you're grabbing that late game gear you don't you're going to want to hold on to those i've had uh you know gear score higher than 512 at this point come up and i just kind of put it right in the storage i'm not going to use it i like this perk so so much for that really pvp in general so thank you guys all for tuning in make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on i'll see you guys all in eternum